Hi, once again, a beautiful week, and I'm here to bring you to the world of sports. Let's start with the Black Stars, and Black Stars coach C.K. Connor has credited former Black Stars trainer James Kwesia Pia for the country's qualification to the 2021 African Cup of Nations. Ghana wrapped up their qualification and start with a 3-1 win over Sao Tome yesterday. Nicolas Opoku, Jordan Ayu, and Baba Rahman all scored as the Black Stars finished top of Group C with 13 points. I'd like to uh, thank my former boss uh, in the name of Kwesi Apia who started all this and uh, I continue and uh, finally we've, we've qualified the team to uh, the Nation Cup. I'm glad uh, that we've been able to do that and so the credit also goes to him because he started all this. Yes, the, we, we came into this game knowing that uh, we sort of qualified already. Uh, we were not tensed, we wanted to be relaxed. In the way we approach this game, um, there was also a possibility for us to see some other other players, which we did today, which has given me a fair idea going forward in the coming uh, qualifier in the World Cup. And so uh, we, did, we didn't want to stress too much on, of, of tactics. Uh, we wanted to enjoy the game, we wanted to go in and of course relax and, 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 and do well to win. Still on the Black Stars, and C.K. O'Connor has vowed not to experiment with collapse as he believes he has the core of his team. O'Connor, who was appointed in January last year, has invited a number of players to justify their qualities and earn a place in the team. I got a job. I've had chances of trying a lot of play, and today was probably exceptional. Um, we've had the chance of also giving the locals a chance to prove themselves, and I think, uh, in all fairness, they've, they've done well. Uh, from now onwards, it's not about try again. Uh, we're not going to be picking players from somewhere and unless there's something dramatic that we need to do that. Uh, the chunk of players that we have, I think it's, it's, it's fair to say that we can work hard with them and try and change the attitude of the team, have a better philosophy and, and move forward. It was a weekend of African football qualifiers everywhere and then from Saturday to Sunday even. Today we still have more games to come, but let's look at the weekend that what went on. In Lesotho and Sierra Leone was a goalless draw. Benin also lost at home to Nigeria. That was one goal to nil. In the other groups in Group A, we have Namibia beating Guinea two goals to one. Mali also beaten Chad three goals to nil. In Group C, we have our own Ghana Black Stars winning 3-1 against Altoman Principe here in Accra. Sudan also beat South Africa 2-0 in our group. Tanzania also beat Libya one goal to nil. Tunisia and Equatorial Guinea was a 2-1 win for the Tunisians. And we also have uh, games that will be going on today and tomorrow. Burkina Faso versus South Sudan, Mali versus Uganda, Angola versus Gabon, DR Congo versus Gambia, Egypt versus Comoros, Togo versus Kenya, Algeria versus Botswana, and Zimbabwe versus Zambia. Let's come home and domestically football is still going on and there are still more complaints of hooliganism in the country. And the Executive Council of the Ghana Football Association has banned the woman of town park indefinitely. With immediate effect, this decision was taken following assaults on the referees at Wamanafo by the home supporters in the Division One League match between Wamanafo Mighty Royals Football Club and Tano Bofaka Football Club yesterday. The competition department of the GFA will now fix the venues for the upcoming home matches of Wamanafo Mighty Royals FC with due regards to the distance to be travelled by their away teams. So in the Ghana Premier League and Brazilian forward Michael Vinicius has begun training with Asante Kotoko. Vinicius completed his move to the Pokemon Warriors earlier this month to join compatriot Fabio Gama at the club. The 27-year-old was involved in his first training session earlier today at Adakujachi since his arrival in the country over the weekend. It is, however, unclear if Vinicius will feature for Kotoko in their next league game against Karela United this weekend. More international games are going and we are going to the European FIFA World Cup qualifiers and from Saturday also throughout the weekend we have games like Republic of Ireland losing at home to Luxembourg one goal to nil. Serbia and Portugal was a 2-2 draw, controversial game that was. Belarus also beat Estonia four goals to two. Czech Republic and Belgium also draw 1-1. Montenegro went and defeated Gibraltar four goals to one. Netherlands also beat Latvia two goals to nil. Norway losing at home to Turkey three goals to nil. Russia also beat Slovenia three goals to one, two goals to one, I beg your pardon. And Croatia also beaten Cyprus one goal to nil. Slovakia and Malta was a 2-2 draw. 
Other ones that were going on during the weekend was um, Georgia beating uh, Spain two goals to one. Sweden also won against Kosovo, three goals to no. Italy 2 0 against Bulgaria. Switzerland and Lithuania was 1 0 win for Switzerland. Kazakhstan and France, France won two goals to no. Ukraine and Finland was 1 1. Denmark also beat Moldova, eight goals to no. A thrashing victory from the Danes. Austria also defeated. Um, San Marino, three goals to one. And we have Albania versus England. was two goals to no for England. Poland also beat St. Andorra, three goals to no. San Marino losing to Hungary, three goals to no. Armenia defeating Iceland, two goals to no. Not Macedonia also winning five goals to no against Liechtenstein. And Germany went to Romania and got a 1-0 win. More international stories. And Robert Lewandowski will miss Poland's World Cup qualify against England on Wednesday due to a new injury. And a statement from the Polish FA this morning said Lewandowski has sustained a ligament damage in his right knee and will be out for up to 10 days. The 32-year-old who has 42 goals in just 36 games for Bayern in all competitions this season has now returned to the German side. Lewandowski was injured in Poland's 3-0 win against World Cup qualifier over Andorra yesterday, scoring twice before being substituted. We are switching gears now to the NBA and the injury hits Los Angeles Lakers held on to beat Orlando Magic 96-93 to despite LeBron James missing a fifth consecutive game with an ankle sprain. Then Scrada scored 24 points and Kyle Kuzma added 21 to help Lyme Bakers to register back-to-back -back victories. We move on to Formula 1 and Lewis Hamilton has said the pressure Max Verstappen put him under was immense in the Bahrain GP after emerging on top at the end of the Titanic tussle with his Red Bull rival. The world champion began his quest for an unprecedented A title with a staring against the odds triumph over Verstappen in Bahrain. Despite his Red Bull rival having qualified on pole, they led the race's first stint. And that's all for MX Breaks on Sports. I am Solon Saki. Keep watching MX24.